Hi, it's Barbara Michelle. Today I wanted to share with you these two junk journals that I made from an All in the Family um, game that I got in an estate sale. Okay, this first one is made from the cover of the box of the game. And I cut out these words that were on the spine of the cover because most of the name of the game was on the back side. So I just glued them on top. But the people are there. Um, and I did reinforce the spine with this fabric because as I, when I folded it, it cracked a bit and I didn't want it to be too fragile. And it has a sing single sin signature on the inside. So here we go. Uh, this little card is from a truth or, gear, truth or Dare card game. And inside there is a score pad page. I think I put a couple of different games in here. So this little paper is actually from the All in the Family game. And there's a little bag in here with some playing cards. Again, this page is from the instruction books of this All in the Family game. There's some cardstock, some blank paper, um, ledger paper. I've said this word like a hundred times, and when I get to it, I kind of forget sometimes. Lines notebook paper, uh, blank paper. This is just like a name, address, phone book page. This is one of the things from the game, the questions book. And it's blank on this side. It's a little bit glossy, but this side feels pretty smooth. You could probably write on that, no problem. Um, graph paper, blank paper, another sheet from the game, another page from the game, the All in the Family game, lined notebook paper or uh, paper pad paper, blank page, a large index card folded in half. Um, here are just more sheets from the game, the All in the Family game, and they're just paper clipped here. This is a part of a paper bag that was coffee dyed. This is a envelope that's just, oh, and there's a vintage bingo card game in there. Or bingo game card in there. I have a few of those. They're awesome. The coloring of them is awesome, I think. Look how beautiful they are. They're just um, cardboard, I believe. Thin cardboard. Okay, here's some more ledger paper. Blank paper. And that was the center. Okay, so I put another bingo card on the other half of the envelope. And again, it's it opens at the top. I did seal the side, the side opening closed. The paper bag. I think this, no, oh, this is cardstock. It's like smooth cardstock. Uh, the index card. Sorry. Um, it's just blank paper. The notebook page. Uh, the game questions game answer sheet. Cover. This is the back of the cover from the um, questions and answers pamphlet booklet. And the name and address. Um, some letterhead. Lined notebook paper. I don't know, is it too bright in here? Can you even see the lines? It might be too bright. Hold on a second. It better. There's some lines on there. Hmm, that was really bright. Okay. Craft card stuff. Uh, an answer, question and answer sheet. Okay, so this is the other half of that a little bag, and here I put a Yahtzee scorecard sheet. The answer sheet from the book. And another truth or dare card with a flash card on the back side. So this looks like it's upside down when you look at it this way. But 
that's because it's the back side of the cover of the game board box or the game box. So it was a little bit, you know, confusing. The little instructions on this side are upside down, but it's right side up here. So that's what I went with the cover. Okay, so this is an answer folder where you would put these little these little um, sheets in. They would go inside here. And I have a few more of these that I'm going to make into journals as well. Um, but this is just the first one. So the answer folder. Again, I put a truth or dare pocket on it. Um, I do need to fill this one with ephemera still. But the pages are pretty similar to what was in the first one. So the answer sheet, Yahtzee score sheet. A, um, envelope that's punched with a circle punch and open at the top. The rules of this game, a page from the rules. Cardstock, steno pad, graft paper, blank paper. Uh, this is I believe that it's letterhead. Some lined notebook paper. Another game answer sheet. Craft cardstock. More of the um, questions and answers for this particular game. Yellow paper pad, lined paper. Um, just a blank paper. And a blue, kind of a blue tint versus the green. Uh, ledger paper, small little piece of uh, a little notebook, like a little paper pad, steno pad, lined yellow paper, it's just a blank piece of paper, and this one is um, a large index card, a little paper bag, maybe a glassine bag, it's kind of like that on the inside ledger paper and lined paper and that's the center oh there's a blank page in between the ledger and the line okay. steno pad with the holes oh, that little notebook page or notepad page. <laughs> the other part of the questions and answers from the All in the Family game. Notebook paper. Graph paper. The steno pad. Oh, this is that smooth cardstock, and the other part of the envelope. Oh, look at that, there's more. Uh, the Yahtzee scorecard and the score, the answer sheet for the, for the game. And another truth or dare. And I will have to add some more ephemera to this one. Okay, so these two um, junk journals should be in my shop. If, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.